Welcome to this VR scans demonstration. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the VR scans technology together with the VR scans material library. We are going to cover the VR scans material features as well as simple step by step workflow of how we can use a VR scans material in our project. Let's take a look at some of the key features of VR scans. A VR scans material is generated by capturing thousands of images of real life material samples. The resulted scanned material is often indistinguishable from the original sample, which makes it appear photorealistic. The amount of photographs generated by the high quality hardware captures the material's texture in exceptional quality and detail. Using all this physical data, the VR scans technology captures the material's bidirectional texture function, or BTF. This approach is far more advanced and accurate than a single point bidirectional reflectance distribution function, also known as BRDF. As a result, VR scans recreate a material's true surface appearance and unique response to light. To recreate a material as physically accurate as possible from the ground up, you need to build a complex shading network, which could be a daunting and time-consuming task. VR scans require no prior material building knowledge or use of any reference materials. Setting up VR scans is as easy as just drag and drop. On top of that, a scanned material is seamlessly tileable, which means you won't get any seams or repeatable patterns when you tile the material over the surface. The VR scans material can be fine-tuned further in terms of appearance directly in Rhino. You can alter the color of the originally scanned material to suit the needs of your scene. Also, you can paint on top of the color or texture without losing the material's properties or affecting the reflection color. You can adjust parameters such as UV tiling and bump strength, and you can blend VR scans materials with V-Ray materials as well. The VR scans material plugin is part of V-Ray version 3.6 or higher, which provides the user interface for importing, modifying, and using the VR scans materials in V-Ray for Rhino. There is no need for additional installation. Once you purchase a license for the VR scans plugin, you automatically receive a one year subscription for the VR scans library. In short, the VR scans materials are more than just texture maps. Actually, the materials are not based on texture maps at all. They're based on images, thousands of images. They capture the material's physical properties and light behavior under different lighting angles. All of this is packed into a single material file that could be dragged and dropped onto any geometry in your scene. This approach provides incredibly fast workflow when it comes to shading your scene. Let's get started by browsing and downloading a few materials from the VR scans material library that I'll need for my scene later. The VR Scans library is a repository of pre-scanned materials created by Chaos Group with the VR Scan scanning hardware. The library contains a large quantity of materials, currently around 700, and it is still growing. There are different types of materials broken down into categories such as car paint, plastic, wood, leather, metal, and so on. The library is accessible to all VR Scans license holders. And also with the extended 90 day trial, you can use the VR scans plugin along with an access to the library. To access the VR scans material library, you need to click on the downloads button located at the top right corner on the chaosgroup.com webpage. Within the downloads page, there are a couple of tabs to choose from software and VR scans. Simply click on the VR scans tab. Once in the material library, you can browse and choose materials to be downloaded. On the left hand side, there are multiple filters to narrow down the selection of materials. You can filter by material type, material color, and also by what is this material most suitable for. For example, automotive, interior design, product design, and so on. Let's filter by material type and choose wood. There is a list of all the wood materials available for download in the library. Let's scroll down and choose one of them. Let's click on the beach mat, for example. 
On the left hand side there is a thumbnail preview of the material which I can click to expand. This way I can examine the material from a closer view. If I am happy with the look of the material I can simply click on the download button and save it to my hard drive. Let's go back to the materials list and choose another category to filter by. Let's choose leather. There is a fine collection of leather materials to choose from. Let us select the leather beige material and download it. Following the same procedure, you can browse and download all the materials you need for your project. For the needs of this demonstration, I have downloaded leather, wood, metal, and fabric materials. Let's make use of the materials I've just downloaded from the material library inside Rhino. In this scene, I have a pen and a box. Let's make a test render. Currently, all the assets that I'm about to apply VR scans materials to have a gray V-Ray material assigned to them. Let's get started with the leather material first. Open the asset editor and under the materials tab, you can see a list of all of the materials currently in the scene. At the lower left corner of the asset editor, there is an Add Material button. Let's select the VR Scans material from the list to create it. The first thing that needs to be done is to load a VR Scans material. Under the main rollout, there is a button to browse and load a material. Let's find the leather material I've downloaded earlier and load it. We have to apply the leather material to the pad object first. Select the pad object Right-click the material in the Asset Editor and select Apply Material to Selection. Let's rename the material for more clarity and render the scene. The material's tiling appears to be too large. Right under the File Loader, there is a slider controlling the tiling factor of the material. Let's increase the tiling factor and see the difference. Now it looks much better. As I mentioned earlier, the VR scans work perfectly well together with all of the standard V-Ray materials. I could use that to my benefit and create a patch over the leather surface. To accomplish that, I'm going to use a V-Ray blend material. Let's create a new V-Ray blend material. As a base material, I'm going to select the VR Scans leather material. Let's add a coat layer. For the coat layer, we can use a standard V-Ray material. In this particular example, I'm going to use one of the preset V-Ray metallic paint silver materials that come with V-Ray for Rhino. All I need to do now is to just select it in the coat layer. The blend amount is controlled by a grayscale color where the black color represents the base material and white color represents the coat material. Every grayscale value in between would be a mixture or a blend between those two materials. Instead of using a flat grayscale color for the blend amount, I can use a texture map. I have prepared a simple black and white texture to serve as my blend amount texture map. Once it's all set up, let's apply the blend material to the pad object and render the scene. Now let's create the material for the box. I'm thinking of a black leather material. Again, create a new VR scan material and load the appropriate VR scan file. In this case, the black leather VR scan. Select box object and apply the black leather material. Now adjust the tiling factor. Information section 
displaying some useful information contained in the VR scans file, such as the actual material sample size that is used to match up the original size of the sample to the geometry. Scrolling down, you can see lots of useful controls for artistic modifications. For more in-depth information regarding those settings, you can check out the VR scans documentation at docs.ksgroup.com. Let's move on and create the material for the lock. I'm thinking of a brushed metal. Since the VR scans materials work perfectly well with V-Ray materials, you can use a V-Ray bump material together with the VR scans metal material to create a brushed metal material. Let's create a V-Ray bump material and plug in a bump map into it. I will use a noise map that will work just fine. As for the base material, let's create a VR scans metal material following the same procedure and use it as a base in bump material. Finally, let's apply the V-Ray bump material to the lock object and re-render the scene so we can see the results. As mentioned earlier, the VR scans materials give the user a certain amount of flexibility and control over some of the material properties. Under the appearance rollout, you can notice several controls. The filter color can be used to tint the material. Keep in mind that tinting the material would affect the color of the reflections as well. Using that, I can lower the reflection of the brushed metal and reduce the burnout. The paint color option, on the other hand, can be used to change the color of the material without losing the texture or changing the reflection color. Next, let's create the material for the planks inside the box. I'm going to use the wood material that I've downloaded from the material library earlier. Let's create a new VR scan material, load it and make a test render. Obviously the size is off. In this particular example, I would like to rotate the material by 90 degrees. This way, instead of vertical lines, I would get horizontal lines. The material pattern needs to be smaller. With certain materials, you might want to make some changes to the placement. Such changes can be made in the texture placement rollout. You can tweak the UV offset or the UV channel here, for example. Also, I would like to make the material less saturated. In the appearance rollout, you can use the gamma and saturation sliders to change the look of the material. I can change the saturation down to, let's say, 0.6 or so. Next thing I'd like to do is set the material for the upper part of the box. I'm going to apply fabric material to the object. There is a two-sided option to force back-facing polygons to be shaded the same as the front ones. This option can be very useful for rendering objects such as curtains. If the two-sided option is disabled, the back-facing polygons will appear black. And there is an option to disable transparency for materials that store such information. In situations where the transparency has little or no effect to the end result, this option can be used as optimization to speed up the rendering process. You can also tweak the trace depth, which controls the number of reflection bounces. On top of that, there are controls for the cutoff threshold in the color space. Next, I'd like to assign a VR scans black metal material to the pen. Finally, let's assign materials for the tip of the pen. I've prepared gold and platinum metals. I will add depth of field camera effect and some VFB modifications for the final frame render. As of what to expect in the development of VR scans in the future, there are some really exciting features already on the way. Support for render elements will be added. Also, there is going to be more control over displacement for materials using height maps. Geometry with bad UVs or no UVs would also be covered using a similar to triplanar mapping functionality. The VR scans materials would be able to be rendered using the V-Ray GPU 
On top of that, the VR scans materials will be available in V-Ray for Unreal. Finally, the VR scans material library will continue to grow even bigger and more diverse. In this video, we went over the VR scans material plugin, the technology behind it, together with examples of materials from the VR scans material library. I hope you have found this video useful and helpful. Please give us your feedback, comment, or share it. Thank you for watching.